Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to spend some time in my messy crafter room. So if you stick around till after the break, I'll tell you what I'm up to. Welcome back. Um, today we're going to take a couple of small gourds that are damaged and we're going to show you how to use them anyway. We're going to make a mushroom shaped or a toadstool shaped birdhouse and um, it doesn't take terribly long. It usually just takes most of the time just for the paint to dry. But um, I've got quite a bit to do so if you stick around we'll get through it and I'll show you step by step. Okay, today we are going to take these two seemingly boogered up useless gourds and we're going to make a birdhouse out of them. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub these up, get all these dangling's off here, and I'm just going to use a Brillo pad, but should probably put on a mask. I don't like them, but we'll put them on. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take the top of this one and I'm going to cut it with the Dremel where I get the most use out of the top. And I'm going to take the stem off of it. And this one, since it has a bad top, it has a soft spot here too. I'm going to take the top of it off and I'm going to make a hole here where the soft spot is. And um, usually I like to make the holes for a birdhouse about an inch to an inch and a half, but it's going to depend a little bit on how big that soft spot is. I think it would probably be about an inch and a half maybe. So give me just a second to get set up to do that, and I'll be right back.
we have those cut apart. You can see that the inside's been cleaned out a little bit. But what we're going to do is fit one over the other. And let's scrape this out a little bit. pretty clean. I don't take anything extra out of it. I know you can see the soft part a little easier. Alright. Now let me change my Dremel up and um, I'll be right back. Okay, looks like we got most of that soft spot out, <coughs> and we'll make it, we'll make it, yeah, I might have to put a little bit of wood putty on that edge. Alright, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I've got a little bit of this wood putty here, if I can get it out too. We're going to cut just a little piece off. Okay. 
This stuff is really, really wonderful. It's really easy to use. Let's see, it's got two different colors, so you've got to mix it really well. Just need to take just a few minutes to really work it good. You want to work it until <clears throat> you have a uniform color in it so it will dry and harden. I'm just going to flatten that piece out a little bit. And I'm going to put it behind here just to secure that and make sure it doesn't end up being a problem. Okay, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're going to let that sit and cure for a little while. And um, I'm going to get all my stuff put up. And I'm going to get ready to go outside so we can get some spray paint on these. So give me just a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Okay, I've got these spray painted. Put a couple of good coats on. <clears throat> and you can use any... Any kind of spray paint you want, any color. Um, what I'm going to do, oh, I put a hook in the top of it. Um, I didn't film it, but when you put it in, if you add a little drop of super glue to the top of it, it helps make a, a seal, kind of a watertight seal on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this round paintbrush. And um, I want it to look like a, want a, a, just a cute, typical, cartoony type of mushroom or toadstool. So I'm going to use this round brush. So I've got some white paint. And I'm going to put some spots on it. Get enough paint on the brush. And you can do this any way you like. This is just for fun. A little bit more paint.
Okay, we're going to let that sit <clears throat> and dry for a little while. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll bring you back for the next part in just a little bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spread some of this liquid nails around the top. Now, if you want to use Gorilla Glue, just keep in mind that um, Gorilla Glue is usually intended for non-porous materials like metal and plastic. And so if you wonder why I'm not using a Gorilla Glue... I'm pretty sure the gourds are porous, so we're just going to do our best to get a nice spread of liquid nails up here on the top. Look around the edge just a little bit. And then we're going to set our top on. And we're going to press it down. It's good and tight. And that's going to need a little while to set. Seems like everything you do in crafting takes a little while to set. And that is not perfectly flat on the bottom. So, I'm going to take a couple of pieces of paper towel and get it to sit up straight. Mostly straight. And we'll leave that to sit and cure for a little while. And then we'll be back for the final step. Okay, so we're getting ready for our final step. And the last thing that you want to do is to put a crystal clear polyurethane enamel over all of it. That'll help it when it's outside hanging in the tree and um, it starts raining and stuff on it. It'll help keep the gourd all nice and perfect. So, usually I like to put two coats, sometimes three. We're going to go out and do that. Now, you don't have to leave yours quite as simple. You could paint little doors and windows and little bugs and whatever you like to do on it. But I'm going to leave this one just simple. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to give it a couple of coats of clear enamel. And then we will be ready for the spring's little birdies. So stick around and I'll show you the finished product in just a minute. Okay. This short, fun little project is all done. I just brought it in from putting a couple of nice coats of enamel on it. And it's all ready, and it'll be ready for the birdies in the spring. And it, it, it's really simple and a lot of fun. They're really easy to make. Birdhouses are, are so much fun to make, and they're so practical. And we have so many really pretty birds around here, so it makes it a lot of fun to have them living in the yard. So I'm going to get this one hung up, and it will wait until spring and I've got I got three more over there finished but just simple and easy and anybody can do it and it, it makes use out of something that you thought maybe was ruined and 
Just because a, a gourd doesn't dry exactly the way you think it will, doesn't mean it can't still be used. With a little ingenuity, you can have all kinds of fun and make just about anything you want. I hope you had fun today, and that's about all the footage that I have. Um, I hope that that you learn that even if you grow gourds and they have a little bit of damage in them, you can still use them. There's plenty of projects that you can use them for. And um, one of my favorite things to make is birdhouses. We have so many pretty birds around here. So um, don't forget to subscribe, and if you like a video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please ask away. Um, I'll answer anything that, that I have an answer for. And if I don't, well, I'll find you an answer. So don't forget to ring that little bell. And it will let you know when we have new videos out. And I hope that you had a whole lot of fun. And we're getting really close to the new year. So I hope everybody has a wonderful new year. So let me get out of here. And I'll set up another project coming up here in, a, you know, probably a few days. But thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you in the next one.